So first of all, let me set the scene. On the 13th of June at 13.13, after causing her mum some trouble and strife, Miss Sophie Horton burst into life. From the very start, she had this fire within. Something to do with always playing to win. Now, when I was a lad and looking for romance, you used to go to the local dance. But nowadays, that's gone out the window. If you're looking for love, you go on Tinder. <laughs> and it's clear that from the very start, young Andy Daly stole her heart. It's obvious they had met their match, but I just wonder who got the better catch. We watched and waited as they followed their dream, and they're making quite a formidable team. But we've had to wait for two house renovations before we could start with wedding preparations. And so we finally come to today, when we give our precious little girl away. But if you think I've lost my daughter, don't be daft. Instead, I've just gained an overdraft. <laughs> so now that you've become man and wife, you continue your journey through this gift of life. As a team, you can face any weather. And if you trust your love, you'll get through it together. When I first met Sophie, I had no idea how much she liked to list. There's a list for this, a list for that, a list for anything you can shake a stick at. When we first met, there wasn't much to jot down, but things moved quickly and we made Chester our new hometown. The lists appeared all around, the best areas, the best gardens, a house needed to be found. This was my first introduction to the, lock, the master list, one controlling documents and nothing was missed. With some help from our parents and a huge workload, we managed to move into our first house on Butterbeach Road. Our first big adventure then needed to be planned when we decided to go and see Sister Emma in the Kingdom of Thailand. More lists were written, but in much more detail, ensuring we didn't forget anything before we set sail. Our next adventure took us to New York at Christmas time. The list continued, but I didn't mind. I was starting to understand my Sophie and love her ways, and I thought, I can't wait for more holidays. Before I knew it, we were moving again, a new area, a new project, a new home campaign. I could smell the list a mile away, encouraged by our mother to get them underway. <laughs> we found a place with the right postcode. We settled into our new house on Fairfield Road. Shortly after, Thailand Round 2 was on the cards. I had an idea, asked Sophie to be my wife in just a little over a year. She said yes, and now you've all come from far and wide. I'm so happy I met you. You are my perfect bride. I, Andy, take you, Sophie. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness <coughs> and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. Sophie, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There's so much to be out in this poem, and for that I apologise, but I hope it's been a nice surprise. Pete, I'll keep practising, and maybe one day, I can be as talented as you with the words that you say. I should write a list of my own titled Everything I Love About My Wife and I'll keep adding to it for the rest of my life. So here's a toast from my beautiful bride, Sophie Daly, to Sophie.
that case, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, please welcome Sophie and Andy. Uh, so Pete, uh, this is the perfect opportunity for me to say thanks um, for today. Um, and also for taking us out the other night um, with your family. It was like going out to dinner with the borrowers. I'm quite enjoying this. It's all right, actually. <laughs> right, so um, on to Sophie, the blushing bride. Um, you look absolutely stunning to here today, as everyone can see. Um, it's a stark contrast to the young lady that tried to rock and tackle me last year whilst playing beer pong in her kitchen. Um, I think I've still got a few bite marks on my ankles. I do know that after we had met you for the first time, we all knew you were the one because Andy was excited. He was excited that you were normal with all your limbs intact. But more importantly, I remember him telling me there was something special between you both and he'd never felt this way before. I can say that when me and Jess met you, we knew straight away that today was fun. I remember meeting Sophie for the first time, um, a gorgeous young girl, um, petite brunette with the Yorkshire accent. As I looked at Sophie for the first time, I peered back at Andy and thought, I didn't realise you could get mail order brides from Yorkshire. <laughs> I think Andy bored everyone on the stag do by telling the story of, when he, of where he asked Sophie to be his girlfriend in the bar slowly. And thankfully, whilst we were there, we avoided having to visit these special steps where this event took place. Anyway, there was no way that Andy could have managed to pull this off, seriously punched above his weight. Um, however, after speaking to Sophie for about five minutes, I realised two things. Firstly, I could see with the look in her eyes, her body language and the interaction with Andy, that Sophie was not in fact a male or a bride from Yorkshire. Um, this lovely young lady actually liked Andy. I then looked over at Andy and his face said it all. Um, it was the face of a grade A chancer. Uh, a mixture of surprise, disbelief in himself, and a look of sheer luck, he knew he landed on his feet with Sophie. Um, for someone who used to blow snot down his face as a form of defence when we used to fight as kids, he's done very well for himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> Disgusting. And so, Andy, we're now formally passing into your care the most precious gift we could ever give you. I know you will treasure and look after her. We will be tied you if you don't. You'll have a mum to answer to. So, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding if you can and join with me in a toast to wish health and happiness to the new Mr. and Mrs. Daly.